you were talking about Hollywood Nights and, and the uh, amazing talent that was in that film, uh, I want to ask about another, maybe a little even more cult film that you were in that had some other decent actors and it was called Mistress. Oh, uh, bless you. Bless you. I, I actually have a great deal of fondness for that movie. Uh, as do I. It's the best performance I ever gave in my life. And that's all due to Barry Primus, the writer director. Uh, you know, that was Tribeca's first film. That was Tribeca's first film. And Barry was, you know, uh, you know, De Niro's best friend and acting coach, uh, sort of, and everything. So uh, so they, when he cast me in this movie, and I mean, the people I am surrounded by in every scene, whether it's Martin Landau, may he rest in peace, I love him. Uh, you know, you had uh, Danny Aiello, De Niro, Eli Wallach, Christopher Walken, Gene Smart, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Laurie Metcalf. I, it's, I, you know, I pitched myself every day and I became a better actor because of that. Uh, but yeah, it's, and it's funny because when I talk to film students, the movie they, besides back, of course, the film that most film students, Alexander Payne and all these guys who came out of that, want to talk about is Mistress. Uh, yeah. mostly because that's going to be their experience. Right. You know, trying to get a movie made independently and having all these guys, you know, want their mistress or some string attached to it. Uh, I, I love it. I love the movie. Um, like I said, it's the best thing. It made no money. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, but... That's the movie that I'm closest, uh, sort of, as far as performance-wise, it's the best work I did by far. And that's all because of Barry. Mm. He, he was on top of me. He, he beat me up pretty good. And well, it, was a great, it was a terrific performance, and you definitely held your own against those minor talents you mentioned. Yeah, Martin Landau and I, because we were in every scene together pretty much. Right. It, was, uh, it was a fondness that I'll never remember. But listen, Mar I got into the Academy because Martin Landau and Robert De Niro signed my card and sponsored me. That's the reason I'm in, um, but they were one. And Martin, Marty, you know, for, besides being the greatest mimic I've ever met, he's great, a great mimic, and the stories Marty had, I mean, you know, Actors Studio, and his buddy was James Dean, you know, they were running around together. He, he'd bring out the album, and the two of them would hang out together from New York and L.A. Uh, just great stories, Martin Landau, wow. I miss him. He was, he was amazing, and especially towards the end of his career, when... You know, most people thought of him as Space 1999 or or, um, or or Mission Impossible, but towards the end of his career, you know, with with um, Coen Brothers and some of the other stuff that he did, it just just amazing stuff playing. Um, um, brain just went blind like playing Bela Lugosi. Yeah, know? I mean, his career. His career had a huge second act. First, the things that jumped him off of was Coppola when he was in uh, Tucker, mm -hmm. and then Woody, uh, yeah. put in Crimes and Misdemeanors. And that performance is, that well, that's my one of my favorite movies. I mean, uh, I guess it's very un-PC to talk about Woody these days as a filmmaker, but I don't give a shit. Basically. Uh, uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, Woody was a huge influence on me and a huge influence on film in America, you know, in the letter part of, of, of the you know millennium but he yeah. was uh, and of course ed wood ed wood came after that and yep. then uh marty special marty was so special